Welcome back. So, previous video, we just prepped uh, two prep cables into a Tyco D. I think in the last cable I said it was above 48. This is a 72, but I thought it was a 48, so I cut off the white, thinking it's a filler automatically. Uh, but it's a 72 cap. Well, now it's a, uh, uh, now it's a 48 count. <laughs> No, I'm sorry, six count. Yeah, 60. Can't do math. So coming in here, open this up. Go ahead and just take that tray out. What you want to do is however many you're going to be doing, uh, you, you want to, uh, let's just say we're going to do the first 24. So we'll set aside the other 24. And obviously we're going in order, so we're going to start with blue and orange. Here's your blue and orange. And the rest we're sitting to the side right now. To measure this, you're gonna go all the way down, around, in the slide basket. Okay, you're gonna go around the back of the tray holders, and you're gonna you're gonna butt up the buffers with the back of this, okay? Alright? And once that's touching there, and that's touching here, and you're filling it out, you're going to come to this first groove on the slide basket, and you're going to hold it right here, and that's where you're going to do this side. We're going to open up the buffers. Okay. Now normally you would measure both sides. Um, and do them all at the same time to be faster, but I'm just doing this way for whatever. Now these have fillers in them. As you can see, they got two little strings hanging down from the, the 12. You can tell the fillers because obviously fiber's glass and this is just cloth. Easy way I like to do it, just blowing it. I'm a little bit humid out here today. So, and I always verify I have two fillers coming off each one, and once that's verified and, it, and it's not a piece of fiber, I go ahead and cut it. If you have a hard time getting this string off, just spray it down with some alcohol, and it'll come right off. This one seems to come off just fine. Okay, now you want to measure the other side, it's going to be the same exact as this side. So you're going to come right here, it's really nice and even. You're just going to bring it down, and wherever that lines up at. Oh, I have my fibers everywhere because I'm, I'm used to doing this, I know I'm not going to break anything, but y'all might be looking at me crazy. Let me, let me get this undone. Okay. And the rim right here. We got strings again. Looks like they were all down for me already. Go ahead and cut those off. Okay. Now that we have this already measured out, we don't need to put the tray in here or do anything like that to see where we're going to go. Now we have we have this felt. This black strip is sticky felt. So I'm not like again, I'm not going to open this because I need to use this later. But we're going to take this out, cut it in pieces about that big, about an inch wide, and then we're going to wrap the buffers two at a time. Now your input side is going to be this top right side, or if you switch it and your input's on the left side, then your input's going to be on this side, okay? But going on this side, now to maximize, to maximize cable input, you want to do one zip tie per 
two buffers and then you want to stagger them. So how that one's in these two, now I'm going to go to these two and then I'll be able to fit another two buffers in here. When you have a, a bunch of stuff going on in the case, this only holds 72. Doing it this way, you can have 72 fiber bus splice and still have room for other cables to be joined in and spliced off doing whatever and not be filled up. But we're only doing two. Um, so I'll just do it uh, how, how a lot of people like to do it, which is just two sets of two, or uh, just a set of two in a row. Actually, forget that. That's dumb. <laughs> Okay, now I have my input side. All right, now you always start from the outside in. So between blue and orange, my blue is first. I'm gonna make sure that's on the outside when I put these in. Now with felt, this won't move. Obviously it's moving without felt and the whole idea is felt is you see how we have some of the white marks right here? Okay, that is from the buffers being pinched. All right. Now, if you don't prep a cable correctly, you're going to get this. If the cable is pulled, if you open a cable correctly and you see this, you need to shoot it and test it because it might be bad. That means they pulled it too hard. But also, if you prep it and it's fine and you, you only uh, pull one string, well, there's another video on cable prep for that. Let me get sidetracked here. All right, so. Right up. Move that over here. Now we have our other blue and orange. Okay. Any, all this can be set up any kind of way. Make sure it's not crossed. Okay. I'm about to put the blue and orange in, but I can still have them completely separate. Okay. And that's very important, especially when you're working with multiple people. So put that in. Blues first. All right. Again, you need to have felt right here. They have some trays where these, this is raised. If the middle is raised, you don't need felt. But when it's flat, you have to use felt. Um, where's my ducks? Okay. Alrighty, so we have the splice holders here. Okay. Now obviously, um, obviously I lost my train of thought. So, <laughs> Oh, so obviously each of these is going to fit 12. To do this properly, you need to separate your two buffers. Okay, and you want to go all the way around. Alright, and this is very important. I'm, uh, if you see here, this is all the way 100% up against all everything. That means if I have something even a little bit long, it's going to be too long. And it's going to be sticking out all kind of crazy like that. Alright, so I have it in here. All the way butted up. I'm going to come in a little bit, at least on one side. Then I'm going to come over here. You want to count one, two, three holders up. And you're going to break it in the middle of the third from the bottom. Okay. What am I doing? All right, I wanted this to go right here, so I measured it to right here. Now the orange. All right, obviously this one is going to be full with the 12 and the blue. I need to go in the orange. Now again, it's all the way butt up. I'm coming in a little bit. And I'm going to count one, two, three, and coming in from the side, I'm going to measure a third one from the bottom. And all right, now whenever you splice it perfectly and you don't mess up, you're going to lay your fiber in here, and it's going to, it's going to look just like this with the slack. It's not going to be messy or anything, okay? Now, the way everybody else does it, you measure it two at a time. And this is how I do it every day. Now, if I had uh, like 72 right here, I'd have three sets of two. 
and I'd measure them just in sets of two. Now, I have blue and orange. This is going here and here. All I'm going to do is measure it right here in the middle of both of them. Now, I got it. This one isn't all the way butted up, so I don't have to worry about pulling it. And just the middle, and I'm breaking it. <coughs> all right. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Jesus. <clears throat> now I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm set and ready to splice. This can be anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna have my shrink side on one side. <clears throat> I'm gonna have all my splices on another side. And we're good to go. So when you after you splice it and wrap it back in, the splice is gonna be another video. Also, this is the correct way to roll up dead, dead fibers. Okay, I put the lid back on. You always want to double check the sides and make sure there's nothing in the way. Alrighty. Now, two ways to do this. You can either wrap these buffers in first, which I think is harder to do with two people. I mean, with one person. No. Yeah, you want to make sure this is straight out. Okay, you're going to come in here, wrap this. Jesus. Okay. All right, and then you're going to cross this behind here. And you want to start on the third up. So one, two, and three. I'm going to click that in. All right, that's one way. The other way, which is the preferred way, is you just cross it right here. Okay, get these buffers out in front of you. Put this in first, one, two, and three. Make sure your buffer's out the way. You know, smash it down. And then now these are uh, just already right here. You can throw them in here, okay? So, we didn't measure this with the tray in here. We just measured it with these points. But if you see, right here is right here. Same thing. Now if you go up a little bit higher, you might need a little bit less, but generally it's okay. You just want your slacks to look nice, coming all the way in and out, nothing short in between here. And then you lay all your dead fibers on top. And it's important to lay your dead fibers on top because when somebody gets back in here, if they need to use the fibers that are already in the tray, obviously they're already in the tray. Now if they need to use another buffer on the tube, they're not fighting with something they can't remove uh, because it's in the tray to get what they need. It's all on top so they can pull everything out without having to mess up anything else. So that's what a slide basket will look like, or what it should look like. You see that? Oh, okay. That's what a slide basket should look like. Nothing in the middle, nothing tight, all nice and flowing around. Okay, with your dead fibers on top, the ones you're not using, and you have all your splices right here. And then, yeah, then you put the top on the case, and that's all she wrote. So uh, yeah, that'll complete building the Tyco D, putting it in the, the slide basket and the tray. Cool.